hello everyone welcome to the new video on net backup 8.2 and uh, today i'll show you how you can use the azure cloud connectors with the net backup to configure your google uh, to configure your azure storage so i am on the user interface as you can see of uh, the net backup 8.2 the three things that you have to keep in mind is or the three steps involved in configuring the Azure storage is first you have to configure the cloud storage server then you have to configure the disk pool and then you have to configure the storage unit under the storage and uh, the wizard will guide us as we go along and one of the prerequisite for this video is that you should already have the containers configured within the Azure uh, portal so as you can see that I have configured the account uh, with the name Girish Azure Storage and if you're using it for the first time you can go to Azure portal and you can register the first 30 days are free there is no charge for that one because we will be needing the access key as well as the storage account to be used when we configure the Azure Storage. Since I've already done this one let me come back to my uh, user interface within the Veritas Net Backup 8.2 and uh, we'll click configure cloud storage server here you click next and here it gives you all the list of the cloud vendors so in our case we'll be doing the Microsoft Azure so select next And here you provide the service host, which you can leave it to the default storage server name. Also, I will leave it to the default. This is the media server. So my uh, net backup server is acting as a master and media server. So I'll leave that. Now the storage account and the access key it is asking is the uh, one that you have generated when you created your uh, account on the Azure portal. So what I will do is I will uh, go to my Azure portal and I will copy and paste that one. So I have uh, copied my storage account as well as access key from the Azure portal and you click next. And here if you want to configure the compression as well as encryption you can uh, do that but I will leave this to the default and you click next. And you get a brief summary of the selections that you have made and you select next again and the process for configuring the storage server has been initiated Click next over here and the storage server was uh, successfully created so click next again okay so now you got the uh, uh, next wizard which I told you this is a three-step configuration and I have two containers already on the Azure portal one is a uh, Girish Azure storage and one is Girish one so what I'll do is that for this demonstration I'll use uh, Girish one and I'll select next and let, let's skip the name you can always uh, configure the IOPS over here but I'll leave that to the default and you select next and you get a brief summary of your disk pool and you select next again and it is creating the net backup disk pool now so the net backup disk pool was created successfully and as you can see that you automatically got the checkbox for creating the storage unit so i'll select next again here and here you can give the name of the storage unit so let's give the name azure 
storage and because I only have one media server which is acting as a master in media so I'll select this one but if you have multiple media server you can uh, mention over here accordingly and I can change the concurrent job so let's make it to say four and you select next and you hit finish so the Azure storage was uh, added to the net backup by using the net backup uh, uh, Azure connector so if I go under the storage unit as you can see that the Azure storage has been added and if I now want to run any backup I can use the Azure storage which is uh, residing on the Azure portal uh, so what we'll do is that for the next video we'll create a backup policy and then we'll run certain backups and uh, see if we are successful in that one. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.